All right, hey guys, here we are, hole seven. So I made, well, why is this taking so long to match? I should have already hit a replay by now. Something must be wrong. I don't know if it's my internet. Could be. I may just drop from Wi-Fi. Because there's no way that this should just be spinning. I'm totally in the replay pool. <clears throat> so there it is. Um, I made an mention to this on the last guide is I try to do kind of a cross technique. So whatever the wind is pointed, I'll go to the other side. That allows me to still go the correct amount of rings and not work off the quick cliff or way high up here if the wind's the other. So if I aim over here and pull rings this way, I have plenty to not, you know, go up onto this cliff, which makes the shot easier to execute. Because anytime you pull up to higher ground, the ball lands long. Whenever you pull down to lower ground, the ball lands ridiculously short especially if you were to aim off this cliff. Even if you don't aim off the cliff, but you're right on the edge and great ball to the right, it's going to make the ball land short, well short, because it'll essentially registered as you're off the cliff. So do keep that in mind. Um, however, um, you know, do uh, check out that first guide because that is going to be a reasonable attempt for you to be able to, uh, to get this one. It looks like uh, may need just a little bit more range there. So you may need a rock. I was going to do this shot for you guys, but uh, I don't have the rock on and not enough distance. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to focus on, I guess, this ball guide offset and go off this fairway. So first thing that I'm going to do is pull about... 10.8 rings, one per, give or take. It should be right here. Um, but I'm assuming with this wind, we're probably also going to need some kind of curl as well to try to uh, manage this uh, wind effect. It looks like not quite that much, so I might have just been just a little bit heavy there. But uh, you get the idea of what to do. Um, do keep in mind, you should be able to do that bump and with a power three ball. You should be able to uh, take it up there with the rock driver at the max club line. So um, another possibility to, but this is something that you can work on getting dialed in as well. So if you wanted to kind of master how many rings to go there, it looks like it may be playing just a little bit more towards mid club there. So, you know, I may be able to go max minus 10%, for example. Um, so if my wins 10.8, if I go 9.8 rings, give or take, um, it may be a little bit better adjustment than what I just did there. So this is just something that you can, you know, start to focus on and think about. Good luck with that hole, guys, and I will see you guys on 8 coming up.